to the Superstar Sequencer Basic Tutorial. In this tutorial we will cover basic sequence creation using scenes. First you'll uh, notice that these rays are parallel uh, uh, underneath the star and so I'm going to change them to rays by clicking on this button right here. Next you'll notice at the top it says untitled.sup no audio file loaded. So I'm going to click on the file menu and select open audio file and I will select one of my favorites carol of bells mp3 and after a few seconds of processing in the square brackets you will see it says carol of the bells mp3 so now if we click on the play eight seconds button it will play eight seconds of carol of the bells we're up to five seconds six seconds seven seconds eight seconds now if you wanted to play less than 8 seconds, you can click on the play 8 second button and then click on it again and it stops. Or you can click on that button and click on the stop button and that will also stop it. Now to play the entire song, you want to click on the play all button which uh, is over here and looks like a movie camera on a tripod. Um, and that would play the whole song but we're not going to do that because that would take too long. So next, uh, I don't like it saying untitled.sup up here, so I'm going to click on the file menu and say save as and type in carol of the bells. And now it says carol of the bells.sup up here. Um, and next, to make a creation of a uh, sequence a little easier, I click on the tools menu and select create timings and after uh, several seconds of processing it's going to put some timing marks up here right underneath the uh, time scale. These horizontal uh, lines represent where it saw the uh, volume change and uh, these vertical yellow lines are where it saw the beat to the song. Now in the case of Carol the Bells boom, 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 the bum 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 uh, happens right on the beat and so we can just use these yellow lines to determine where to put our effects. Uh, we're going to do scenes so we can click on the tools menu and select scenes and the scene dialog box pops up and if we click on uh, well first before we click on add we want to uh, select a region up here on the time scale I started at the first beat mark up to but not including the second beat mark and now if I click on add scene it says you must have some pixels selected before I can do that so I will select some pixels here uh, with a left click and drag I uh, draw some pixels here and then if I click on add you'll see that our effect got added here this um, uh, horizontal bar represents the effect and if I play, those pixels got lit up during the duration of that effect. Now I'd like uh, the effect to start red and fade to black, so I'm going to change the end color to black and click on modify, and now you can see the effect uh, starts red and fades to black, and if we play it, that is what it does. So now I'm going to add another effect by selecting a region of time up here that starts at the second beat mark and uh, I'm going to draw some pixels over here and I uh, did that with the left mouse button I, I, I drew one more than I wanted to so with the right bus if I click with the right mouse click uh, it erases that pixel and I also want to erase these over here again I do that with the right mouse button um, and uh, I don't want this to be red, I want it to be green, so I change that to green, I click on add, and now we've got our green effect up here. I'm going to add a third one at the third timing mark, and uh, this one I will do a, a left click and drag, drag uh, and draw those pixels there, I'll do a right click and drag, erase those pixels there, and uh, instead of green, I'm going to make it blue. We add that effect and we have blue up there. Now I'll add the fourth effect. 
highlight uh, starting at the fourth timing mark and I will draw some uh, pixels right there erase with the right button and uh, I don't want it to be blue I want it to be orange and so this is a good chance to show the color picker dialog box if I right click on this square right here the color picker dialog box comes up and the eight basic colors are in this region here I will select orange click on OK and now this square box becomes orange and notice the red is at hundred percent green is at fifty percent because uh, that's what it takes to make orange up here uh, now I want to click on add and we have our orange effect added right there and if we play it it goes boom, 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 boom. okay the, those four notes get repeated uh, four times so I am going to use copy paste I will first uh, select all four of those effects and click on the copy button and then click where I want to paste them and click on paste and you'll see those four effects got pasted right there now if I uh, pasted them a little bit wrong there are some nudge buttons up here this nudges left this is the nudge left button this is the nudge right button and of course uh, on all these buttons on the toolbar if you hover the mouse over that button and hold it still a little bubble pops up that tells you what the name of that button is anyway so with nudge right we can nudge it right with nudge left we can nudge it left and now it's uh, where I want it so I'm going to click where I want to paste the third group that's where I want to paste the fourth group and uh, now that was a quick way to uh, create those that series of four effects four times and if we play it we uh, see it get played there now all of these effects got added to uh, layer one now, this is the time layer region and they're all in layer one now I could uh, select all the green effects by using the control now if I press control left click I can add selections and I can move those to another layer by clicking on the move effects down button so now they're all in layer 2 uh, now I can go using control click I can select all the blue effects and move them down to layer 3 and similarly I could do the same thing with the orange effects click move down three times and they're all in the fourth layer now this is merely to make it so that I can see the groups of four easier the computer doesn't care which layer they're in as far as playback goes if I play it back it gets played back the same way now another advantage of grouping them this way is it makes it easier to select uh, things such as uh, let's say I want to change all these blue guys uh, to a different color using a click and drag there I can easily select all four of those and now I can do a right click on this little square and let's say I want to change them to yellow I click OK this becomes yellow now to uh, to change them all I click on group modify click on OK and now all the blue became yellow and of course if I play it back um, the blue did become yellow here and that's uh, basically what I wanted to show uh, on creating scenes for a sequence and uh, one last thing I wanted to show is that of course um, if I click on close here it will ask me if I want to save my changes I click on yes and then if I launch the program again you can uh, load the sequence that you just loaded by clicking on file and open and uh, in my case carol of the bells.sup is right there 
but I'm going to click on cancel here. Um, an easier way to do that is just click on file and in this list down here it shows uh, your, your sequence will be in that list and I'm going to click on carol of the bells sup and indeed the uh, the sequence is there and uh, that's all I wanted to show